Hi, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, I can now. How great. What? what? How are you? You looking good? good for you. Good. Just my phone's super hot. It's probably freezing up on me, the Wi-Fi. Jeez. I know. We're all dealing with Wi-Fi issues at the moment. I know. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. How are you Thanks hanging you in guys. there? You know, I'm in my, I'm in my home gym, gym doing IG live stuff, but I got to tell you, if it wasn't for you guys, I would probably be stuck in my head somewhere. So I have to do something, man. And, uh, yes. you know, we got that little group text. We're always like motivating and pumping each other up. And it's kind of like, I think we're people lean on us. They, you know, superheroes, we have to not have to, but you're wanting and willing. And that's what I was saying before your power ranger playback, which I'm so glad that it came before all of this because <laughs> it came from an honest and sincere place. Oh, you know thank I mean? you. And, um, I love it. I thank love it. you. We're having a lot of fun. You know, it was funny because we were, we were with, uh, you know, Troy and Nolan, Troy Baker and Nolan North. We were with them in yeah. Scotland. They do a lot of voiceover work and they have a YouTube channel called Retro Replay. And Nikki and I were just going, we should do something together. We we have so much fun together. And um, and so we just thought we'd do something the fans would like. And they love when we talk, as you know, they love hearing all the behind the scenes stuff and, and yeah. all the, how, what we, what it was like doing this and what it was like doing that. And so um, it's been fun because we never watched the show when we were on it. And I now know. we've gone back and watched episodes. It's really funny to, to relive it and going, oh my gosh, do you remember where we were? And do you remember what I that know. was? And, yeah, yeah. which it's hard to remember. Like I think, oh my God, is my memory going crazy? Cause we were dressed <laughs> as old people. And I remember that episode. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, but, but at the same time, we only know what's in it. People say, did you watch it? It's kind of like, uh, no, we're in it. I got all those behind the scene turbo things. Yes. Yes. We're crazy. I got to send you we some more crazy. stuff. We were just going crazy. Like, <laughs> I mean, it was, I watched it. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm still the, you know, same way. Hey, oh yeah. Big time movie star. Give me a cigar. Let me smoke a cigar. I'm like, I didn't even smoke cigars back then, you know, and, and you're, you know, going crazy, playing along with both with Polly and Narvin, yes. I'm just watching going, it does looks like we're in like some cultish, you know, like brainwash. <laughs> Hi, it's morning time. Yes. But yes. anyway, it was just long hours and all that stuff. And, yes. We got a little you know, cuckoo, didn't we? Yeah. We had to keep, keep it fun for ourselves. Yep. Um, but um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun rewatching it and, um, and hearing, hearing what the fans want to see too. So we're excited for you to come on too at some point. Everyone wants yeah. you to do, you and Nikia to watch that, um, the, another uh, song and dance. <laughs> yeah, I tell you that episode, man, we'll, uh, talk to Haunted you. you. It's definitely <laughs> challenging for me. So I would definitely love to go back and go, oh, okay. You know, there's so many, <laughs> so many good memories that I think fans keep us alive and, and keep yes. us entertained, you know? Yes. And, the, the second movie, we talk about that girl coming up and asking for a water bottle. I don't know to this day how and why someone is just randomly walking through the forest where we used our the car <laughs> as a dressing room. They must we couldn't bring the trailers in. They must have been hikers. That's the only thing I could think of. Because you're right. We were in the middle of nowhere. And do you remember we were in the car? We had to share the car yeah. to change. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would change. They'd hold up for that towels and then you'd change because we didn't have trailers and then that guy was looking at me through the window do you remember i was asleep yes and he's yes. like i think it's her I was like oh i know it's like god Crazy. like i don't know where those those people came from and one girl yeah. wanted the water bottle she and your gum water bottle. And, and your gum, gum too she took your gum too and i was yeah. happy to give it to her you know my personality yeah sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they really took it so yeah we must have uh, <laughs> I, I just randomly think that, and I think, like, you know, people listen to the stories, and they're like, hey, so-and-so said, hey, so-and-so said. So stories do, like, in my head get mixed up because I've done so much. But those stories, for yes. sure, for sure, yes. I remember. And then I think, how did – why would they even – you know, we, we were, like, filming a movie. It's, like, so, so <laughs> random. But, yes. well – how 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 is how is your how are you and how is your family? Everyone's good. You know, it's it it's definitely been a challenge for me because I'm such an out and about social person. So um, I definitely felt like it was an adjustment for me. I I kind of had a few days where it was 
a little harder than other days, but I really try to do things that help me not sink. And I let myself feel it for a little bit and then I pull myself out of it. So I'll go yeah. on a run. Like today I went on a beautiful hour run and in my neighborhood is so pretty and I just got to be out in the fresh air and the sunshine and it's really nice because people are waving at you when you, I don't know if you're experiencing that, but people are very friendly but waving, so happy to see you and smiling and you're seeing families out walking together for the first time. Like it's Crazy. really nice. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so doing things like that and then you know, obviously reading, I've, I've been reading my, the Bible and reading a lot of positive things and a lot of these funny Corona memes that are going around are, are giving yeah. me life right now. <laughs> Um, I know. So, yeah, there's some of it's them are good, so though. funny. Yeah, so great. Yes. You talk Keeping about uh, talk so good to talk about faith, Catherine and God. I had two two lamb who's a special force Green Beret. I trained with them, and the, you know he was just at that point where he's like, you know, I truly believe we're here on purpose. I believe in God. I believe in a bigger purpose. And I, when I mention that, sometimes I'll lose followers, but I'll always get ten times more. And I'm not afraid to say well, that faith is the biggest yeah. thing we all need right now, right? Yeah, I, I mean, for me personally, I think I, I, I couldn't do it without that. Like the, the biggest struggles in my life, I haven't been able to get through that without God in my life. But um, it's nothing that we say is ever to, um, to make people feel judged or anything like that. It's only to encourage and, um, and give people hope. And, you know, if people on your page, if people don't like that, they don't have to follow you. That's yeah. kind of how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying and I, to be positive I, and encouraging, so. You, you are. You always. You guys are always so good to me. Uh, honestly, like you always pump me up or if we have down days and our, our uh, group text we have is funny. It's just so random. Yeah. Like, you know, it makes me laugh. And I, you know, and I'm in font right now. I got to get, he's a financial advisor. And he's like, I need Jenna's social security number. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bud. Like, I'm getting on. He's probably, he's playing pool with me and we're playing pool. And he's probably like, dude, <laughs> quit playing pool and go get your and stuff. And give me and the like, information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I need to get you simple. I need to go ask for Jenna's social security number so I can get these accounts set up. And every day I feel bad because he's like, you need to get that to me? And I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, shooting pool with him. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, what is life? Like, Font is busy. I'm busy. But it, it has brought everyone closer and i think the yeah the, come here the appreciation come here the oh, appreciation of, puppy. of oh, oh sorry. look Jeez. at this little puppy oh what's this one's name oh so london. London. london oh my gosh she's adorable huh? did the other other one pass away the other pomeranian uh, with the we, no had teeth? Two, we had two dogs yeah bentley's good but the other two did pass away that no was... there was another pomeranian that tammy had Yes, yeah, that passed oh, away. It was old with no teeth. Three, yeah, one <laughs> snake tooth. Because much like this, it's only going to get a little bit bigger. But yeah, three dogs yeah. In a month is mind-boggling. That's a lot. They're, they're like, you yes. know, a big, big, part of, big part of your life. And and um, anyway, I had uh, Zach, we probably don't watch WWE, but he's uh, Zach Ryder, a uh, real popular guy, but he's such a big guy cut up, and he's got some cats, so he... Like, yeah, you know, so it's <laughs> cool for bigger guys like him to have an animal. So I don't know how he escaped. <laughs> Did you, I, I know, if you go to my stories and find this page where he climbs out of anything and he's on top of, he's on top of stuff. He's like a musician, I swear. I this put him much? in somewhere. Yes, like, he just got out again. I don't know how he's, he's getting out. He's a circus out, dog. He, <laughs> he, is, he hey, is. is. Is he a Pomeranian mixed with something? Because he looks kind of like he's got Australian Shepherd or something in him. He's, he's with all called Meryl or M-E-R, Meryl, uh -huh. uh, pure, pure. Hey, he got out again. He's so uh, cute. Oh, look at that face. Oh, yeah. So hey, he, uh, he escaped. Tammy. <laughs> Tammy. He's gone. He's escaped. Stampede in the gorge. Don't Simba's down here. Don't tell her that. <laughs> Stampede in the gorge. <laughs> Stampede in the gorge. That was my favorite line in the line. It, stampede in the gorge. Simba's <laughs> down there. My favorite line. Here. Uh, if you remember, here, uh, he keeps getting out. Uh, when Jenna, when Jenna would hear me say that for years, Stampede in the gorge. Simba's down there. She had no clue what it was until she watched the new Lion King movie and they said it. Yeah. She, she thought she didn't know what it was, so she's she just thought like, you were just being weird as some usual. Random line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that's basically like, what she did. <laughs> Yeah, she just Aww. thought, oh, that's normal. 
she's down. I'm encouraging her uh, to, 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 you know, she's a teenager. I'm encouraging her to, like, influence people right now, like, yes. for her own self. So she's been yes. doing a few posit positive, positively pandemic is what she's mm -hmm. got a, a thing. So her, she got a little group of people. Oh, um, that's awesome. Yeah, there's a good good group of girls. I say when I say church girls, I'm not talking about girls who talk about faith and how things are gonna you know, come together in a positive positive thing. way. Yeah, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, we've been doing um we've been doing this little we're calling it the Chilson Cheer Squad and we drive around and visit people, um, yeah. our friends and stuff, because it's hard for the kids. Like we're FaceTiming and zooming, but it's different than seeing people in the flesh. So we've been dri just driving and uh, like sit in our car and chat to our friends from a distance. It's really fun. <laughs> it's crazy. I had to switch my whole online classes, about 500 students. Oh, yeah. You know, four different states. Wow. And the online is probably going to be the hardest thing they've ever gonna, they're going to do before because it's like it. I mean, like you, you were running the other day. Hey, I'm running. And, and it's great to feel like that. But sometimes it needs discipline to do that. Like, yeah, you know, for sure. Out. I, it's funny because like this time you would think I'm just crazy with working out and go, it's like my mind is, I'm not writing. Me poems. too. Me too. I, I just don't know. Like I, you would think I've, oh, Catherine, check out this poem. Your poem was great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you think I would be doing all this stuff, but I'm actually like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, eh. Yeah, everyone's know. saying that. You just feel a little bit unmotivated, and it's hard to, to do it on your own. I think we're all just in a little bit of a collective anxiety state, you yeah. know, and a collective sure. uncertainty. I think that's probably yeah. a better way to put it, that you don't feel motivated because you don't know what's coming and how long yeah. it's going to be. So you just have yeah. to take one day at a time. And I have to say, when I do move my body and I get outside and I sweat and, you know, get your heart rate up, it yeah. actually re releases, you know that, releases those endorphins yeah. and makes you feel good um so if, even though you don't feel like doing it you got to push yourself to do it um for, for but, your um, immune system too i mean it's yes for your immune system, system. it's crazy honestly i the refrigerator is my best friend at the moment <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> i know i know oh my gosh i'm like what's for lunch what's for afternoon tea what's for dinner <laughs> yeah yeah I know. It seems, to, seems to be and jenna should be eating a little bit more i'm, I'm we're trying to you know get the meat and cook and all that stuff. So it's been really crazy, but oh, I forgot what I was going to tell you. I always, I always do we're that. talking about motivate, motivating yourself. Yeah, we, and, yeah, oh, you were talking about your online classes. So how no, is I that was talking, I, was, I think it was the, the, the motivating. Oh, I know. Thanks. I always do that. It's my body is so unsure of what's going on right now because it, I hit the, I hit my body hard. I'm dragging it. I'm, you know, flying. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Yeah. So my body is like, okay, what's going on right now? Yeah. My, my inner soul's like, hey, dude, you got all this time. Maybe you should read. Maybe you should. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I wake up like I feel. Oh, I got this interview. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not writing questions, but you know, kind of like hustling the hustle that's really not there. Like maybe you know, organize my cup a few times, but nothing, get nothing done because I'm keeping my mind busy. Right. Um, so yeah, it's it's, a, it's maybe also look at it too as it, it's a time for us to learn to be still because it's hard. You're you you travel and you're going so much and your body is used to that pace. But it's also really good to have time to to rest too. And I don't think you give yourself that. I know I don't either. But you don't. You certainly have, don't give yourself time to just be still and and calm yourself. And there's beauty in that too. You know. Yeah. All right, I woke up at 4 a.m. and trying to go live at 4 a.m. when oh. people are still up in L.A., you know, it's like, I, I mean, yeah. I, I, I would say the best thing for me, too, and for anyone out there, and I always say this, and I think people overlook it, right, and, and they're not overlooking the mental health uh, about this stuff is causing anxiety. Yes. It's causing a lot of people to get way worse. Yes. But yes. I, I look at addictions, like, I think now's the time where people are going to fall back to addictions because they can't. You know, it, 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 you can't handle the stress, but I'm saying now's the time to get out of addictions, mm -hmm. which is the hardest time it's going to be for anyone is right. to, like you said, be still, look in the mirror and ask yourself questions. It's, 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 I think draining. I like to either entertain my brain, train my brain or drain your brain. And I think right, right. now people are entertaining, you know, don't want to learn. We, you know, we're, we're having anxiety, although 
maybe not showing it. Like I could show a five all day long and then you'll see me like, man, I thought you were just in the hospital thrown up. Yeah, I was like five minutes ago, like before <laughs> altitude sickness. Yeah. So we have that. I have that mentality. So it does drive me crazy a little bit, like figuring out what to do and where to go. But this is the outlet. Just yeah. you know, putting this together. This I'm is so great you that you're doing things. this for everybody, Jason, because, you know, I, a lot of our, our people that watch, you know, watch us on these things, they love the Comic-Cons. That's their social life and their connection uh, to their friends. And it's really hard for them. They're feeling disappointed. And so this is a great way for them to to yeah. pop on and say hi and see you and, yeah. and all of these people you're bringing on. It's, you've had some great guests, too. It's yeah. awesome. It's a good but, mix of it. Which I don't know why. I guess I was too busy before just to think of it. Everyone's doing it. the news, the concerts. It's yeah, the it's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And there's all these people are doing dance classes and uh, workouts, and yeah, it's really lovely to see people being creative like that and finding other ways to connect to each other. And a lot of kids or people that you know maybe complain about it. I, I follow Gary V too, and he's like, "Hey, look, you all want to go through this with no devices, or do you want to be happy that you're on your phone?" Right. You know, so happy the internet Wi-Fi here is happy for the phone. Um, definitely for me with Comic Cons, it, it's just my life was traveling so much that mm -hmm. it was, you know, like my mom would say, I teet, 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 little over here, teet, teet, teet. So now I just have my home gym. I'm trying to follow the rules. You know, I'm not getting antsy and doing something, you know, going out. So I'm trying to follow the rules, which, I, you know, I'm pretty good at. Not really, <laughs> but... Not on, not on set. Uh, me and my brother took that snowboard. We were filming the No Business is Snow Business. Oh, and yeah. Remember, you guys were the buff on those things? That you yeah. were gone. <laughs> but my brother worked behind the scenes. He wasn't he wasn't David Chuhart. He was working behind the scenes. Yeah, he's a grip, he, right? He's yeah, he was a grip. A grip. Yeah. yeah. And said, hey, let's, let's, use, let's go to the snowboards and try him out a little bit. I'm like, oh, man, I'm filming. He's like, you'll be fine. Let's just go real quick. And I did it. <laughs> And I got lost off the snow because I wasn't that good at the board. And then we got down. And I said, where do we go back up, man? I, said, I don't know. I thought you knew. I said, man, we shouldn't even gone down. You're my older <laughs> brother. And you're, you're getting me in trouble. And sure enough, I get there. And I'm late. And Eric's, uh -huh, you know, and I'm like. You did that with this, uh, the snowmobile. It's not the snowmobile. The um, wave. What do they call Wave runner? Remember you yeah. did that with the wave runner too. They were like, he had to ride. And then he disappears, right? In the yes. episode. And yes. so. They're like, okay, rolling. And then he was supposed to stop, and he decided not to stop. And they're like, yep. Jason, somebody get him back here. He's gone. Had, Goodbye. On all, mistake. <laughs> all my keys, I never had keys to anything. No, it's they terrible. took everything off no. you, didn't they? Keys, yeah. forerunners, everything I'd have is like, I look and see the keys at that point. You see, it wasn't a, wasn't a matter of me thinking it was trust. I was just like, oh, they have keys, and I don't. Well, what they don't trust me, and they're kind of like, yeah, no. They did don't you try? Did really? you get to ride the your um turbo vehicle? Oh, how crappy was that inside? They were that terrible. So did you bad. drive yours though? I not not I'm probably just a, a a little bit, but not in the film. No, but no, I had wrenches, like <laughs> wrenches on the windows. Yeah, and I wish back then we would like. I wish I I got videos of it, but I really wish we could show people the perception and go. All right, shift in a turbo and then go cut inside the cars with wires. <laughs> it's yes. just terrible. It was just terrible. And, uh, yes, totally. Yeah, it I was had those, really shoddy. The, the wrenches, the uh, wrenches, you know, that the clamps, wrenches yes. for the window. You know, oh, so it was, it was on there so you could roll the window down yes. on the wrenches. I was like, yes. oh, my Do you God. remember, we, Nikki and I were talking about this on our show, um, when we, with the old um, command center, when you would yeah. step onto it, it would like shake a little bit. Yeah. And then we, when we'd try and turn all the buttons and everything, it was like, you pulled one out one time and you're like, what the heck? Yeah, I remember, I remember. <laughs> so when they did Definitely. the new command center, like the Zio command center, we were like, wow, this is actually really nice, you guys. Like, yeah. this looks professional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I do remember that. I remember <laughs> coming on set and it just wasn't, it was like, I knew, they were still like fake at one point, but you know, I, I kind of, well, it's for my characters, for my scene, but there's something wanted me. I just wanted to pick the buttons, like <laughs> pop them off. You know, Sorry, Mark. I'll glue it back on. Sorry. I was oh, just man. The scene, but yeah, that, that, I mean, having that in front of me was just, oh, it was bad. Yeah. I wanted to. Too many buttons. Yes. Yeah. Too and, many and, buttons. And, and they said, what was this hot glue? Frank, is that hot glue? 
Yeah, hot glue. Okay, cool. Get the duct tape. So we had a lot of duct tape and hot glue going on. I know. It was, it was really um, very shoddy, the whole thing. It was kind of funny, but oh, well. It, we made it work, didn't we? We made we did. it work. We did. <laughs> I know. Uh, oh. The Power Ranger. So Power Ranger Playback. You guys started it. You put it on YouTube. It's just Power Rangers Playback on YouTube. That's yes, it? it's um, it's you, uh, www.youtube.com slash Power Rangers Playback, all one word. And okay. um, subscribe. And then every thousand subscribers, we give away prizes. So we're at, I think we're at like 8,500, something like that right now. Um, we've Bro. been on for only for six weeks. So it's pretty good that we're, we're doing, we're doing great. And um, we've, we've had a lot of really positive feedback. We've had it, we had a few little copyright things going on, um, copyright claims. So we've had to kind of change some of the the way we film it, um, but we're, make, we're, we're making it work. We're figuring it out. Yeah, um, I think it's so. a great idea. I really do. I, I can't wait to be on the show. I yeah. know I hope, I hope it all passes on come September. I know we're looking at this April. I think people are planning a specific date. I would say just play it day by day. Yes. And I had another show cancel in April, so I'll, I had about <laughs> seven, eight shows that were canceled. Um, but, you know, yeah. it's – it's a time where I think people are, you know, God's slowing people down and saying, hey, look, there's no value on money. There's no value on this. The values you hold within yourself, but you can't see them because we're too busy. I learned that a lot. And it's a hard lesson yeah. to learn. And then, you know, with Jenna, I, I, you know, we want to be closer, but it's kind of pushing the distance. Get out of my room. We got off limits here. And you know, and they come in my room. And, yeah, you, know, you, you got to figure out your space, right? Because uh, when you're with each other 24-7, it's important to have space too. But, yeah. yeah, it's almost like I feel like it's like a a reset button this time. Like all of a sudden people are learning to connect to each other and just just all, um, all the things that people have valued as important and the consuming everything yeah. is, is worthless right now, isn't it? All you need is yeah. your health, your loved yeah. ones. And food. Yep. That's yep, pretty much that's it. it. <laughs> Water, food, your yep. loved ones, and I need to feed my soul with yes. people like you guys and people that can feed my soul to continue, you know, doing what we do. And yes. that you can't money can't buy that. Money can't buy your word. And you know, I was thinking there's a lot of times where people do cancel shows. I've had a few guests that I could not they didn't cancel, but I couldn't get them in. Oh. And like Emilio and I was so disappointed at myself. Oh. I just turned off Instagram turned off my phone like a little baby and just went to bed you know <laughs> and everyone's like you're not letting no one down i'm like yeah but me i'm a perfectionist and i'm this yeah, and i'm that sure. so i take things like really hard you know uh on that yeah. but i i just think feeding the soul you can't buy that in your in your reputation you know there's a lot of times where i was with mickey work excited about seeing him in liverpool no clue he just did not show up on on the flight he didn't show up uh, the what? promoter's money a lot of money he took from the promoter and I was excited to see him because he's never done a show. So I was like, Oh, make it work. Cool. But he just never showed up. And I, that's his reputation. It doesn't matter. But I heard the fans were kind of like reflecting on that. Like, Oh, thank you for being here. And you didn't cancel like Mickey or whatever, which it's sad mm -hmm. when you see that. And if you can't help it, you can't help it, which he probably didn't want to go because of the Corona, but at least tell your yeah. fans. So, yeah. You, know, you can't, you yeah, can't can. buy who you are. Yeah, and you can't buy your, your word. So you've always been so good with your word. What would you tell people how to, how you keep your word and your honesty? How, how can someone keep their word? Are they getting overwhelmed? Are they the yes people? How can you show, uh, tell someone how to keep your word? Maybe a hint or a tip or something you can help with that. I think for me, it's just not committing to something if I can't do it you know, not making promises that I can't keep. So, um, you know, just being authentic and being honest about what you can and cannot do. So, yeah. you know, I have a family. So like with, with, with conventions, for example, I know that doing two conventions a month is the maximum that I can do because I have kids and I, I that need me and, um, yeah. and my family needs me. So for me, I, I say, okay, two a month. There was one month I stretched it and did three and it was really hard. Like just so yeah. I love going to conventions. I love connecting with fans that um, I'll just do two a month is, is about my max. <laughs> I, I wish I had that discipline. I was one year I did about 44 and we're talking oh. from Amsterdam to Dubai to 
going crazy on yeah. airplanes. And, and that's the life, you know, doing 40 shows on top of the karate and doing all just the uh, crickets. Yeah, so, yeah, that's hard. I'm that's glad hard. I have you guys to inspire me and that little group text and you guys to kind of move because this is the, I'm the type of people. I'm the type of people that will go, but go crazy as well. That will have anxiety that, you know, if I don't have my mind right, as you know, I, I get off for a little bit and it's, it's, it's not right. So for someone to say, I, I'm a yes man, that's the problem. And yeah, you're very I, good. You're very devoted to your fans, but you also need to take care of you too. I know. Yeah. Uh, I say yes, and then you know what? I don't want to break my word, and then I'm like, oh my god, like I got the next couple of weeks in a row where right. I'm trying to get through stuff, and that's through everything, like sickness and, and anything, like and running it, and running your karate businesses. Yeah, I know. and you know, having a family, and it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I know. And yeah, it's, you so do it's, a lot. It's it's one of those things where I'd like to balance a little bit more, and I, I think right now. You know, it's like all balance, nothing, zero miles an hour or a thousand. So right now I'm not going a thousand, I'm going zero, but I got to learn to go a hundred. And that's kind of what I'm doing, at least to move. Because if not, I could really like, you know, in which you girls inspired me to write the poems. Yeah. Uh, if, if you guys just tuned in, uh, Catherine and me, green, pink. Um, <laughs> And she, uh, you, she, Catherine wrote a poem that was like inspiring that I read that I was like, wow. And just let everyone out there know, uh, you know, my grammar's not that great, uh, you know, but it doesn't hold you back from being who you are. And Adrian Morrison, who came on, got an award for over $50 million in sales. I mean, the guy's a multimillionaire. He's in e-commerce. He went to lawyer school, flunked, you know, couldn't get his lawyer degree. So he became an entrepreneur. And when I didn't say anything, but he said that he goes, Oh, you know, my grammar, you know, I'm terrible at spelling. And I went, Oh, cool. Hey, we're friends. Cause you know, it influences me. So, uh, Catherine, Kia and, you know, fought a few people I sent this to, and you guys inspired me to, Oh, maybe you should put that out there. I was like, no, you're like, it's good. And I was like, and then I record it then I send it to you. And then, so finally I, I got the nerve up to do it. And, and people like it because I guess we're just it's real. Honest. It's You're honest. honest. Yeah. yeah. And you know, people with celebrities, they think the world is perfect and they look at you and admire you. You're their hero. And I think that when you show that you're vulnerable and you're human too, and you're broken, we're all broken. Um, it's, it's really powerful to, and, and very impactful on someone that is going through that to go, wow, my hero is also struggles with those things. Right. So I'm really proud of you for putting that out there. It's, it's, it was very brave because I know it was scary yeah. to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's awesome. And then you look at, you did with it, you ran with it. And then you got into yeah. that festival with the other one, um, the, in my head. And yeah. um, you really got creative with it and started doing your videos and it's awesome. It was great. I'm a martial artist. I'm a black belt. I'm a tough guy. I got tattoos. It was really hard for me to, okay, this is the way I feel. You know what I mean? And it was hard. But I'm going to tell you, the truth is, and this is no lie, it's tough. You're like, when I say tough, like a tough guy, it is tough to put your, your uh, feelings out there. Yeah. Most tough guys stuff it in and they play mm -hmm. it on the outside. So it really is things in my in inside, therapeutical things which is strange because i should be writing but now i, I just i don't, I don't know I, i'll think about it it's kind of new to me i'm you know and it's a lot of people that can't write on demand which is definitely me. me i, I relate yeah. to that <laughs> yeah I, I wrote a few other ones i don't know if i've shared but uh anyway but i know nakia's coming on and yes we, you know we could do this anytime though i, I was the yeah. thing at times and it's like the world's a little inconsistent i, I think this is when I was setting it, I was thinking, okay, every all the time at seven, I try to be consistent, but we can go anytime. Fans yeah. love you, fans watch you, and I appreciate you. Oh, thank I you so much. It was good to see you, and hang in there, everybody, and um, thank you for doing this for the fans. You're awesome. And when, real quick, and I'll talk to Nakia, when's the Power Ranger playback? Is that already done now, or is it No, it's, out a new it's every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so we release a new episode every week. A We're having episode. to be a little bit creative right now because we can't be together, so we've We've got. We've been playing around with Zoom and trying to find other ways Perfect. to uh, to record right now. So, I think yeah. it's great. All right, well, you guys keep up the good work, and we'll make sure people go there because I think you guys right now that is entertaining for me 
because I don't know what you guys thought or what you guys think because we were in it. So it's one of right. those things where, you know what I mean? Like, it's interesting to go back and watch it. People think we know everything about it. We're in it. Yeah. So we didn't need to watch it. it. You know, we're so busy and we, it wasn't fans because the show was so unknown to us that, yes. you know, we weren't like, I hate this. And we weren't fans of it because there was nothing to be a fan of, but we were the, the Power Rangers trying to get fans. Right. And now we grew. And now I'm a fan of, of all y'all, like, because we've been through so much, um, you know, and, and here we are, changed so many people's lives. But anyway, it's I, I love you. I, I know you're, yeah, you you're awesome. I'm putting the key on and I'm going to send you a text right after. All right. Mwah. Have all a right. good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're pulling the kit. Thank you. All right. Catherine, amazing. You look pretty today. I love your glasses. The Kia. Let me see. Oh, God, this is working. Oh. It's such a blessing this thing works. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm so happy this worked. I'm so stressed that the Wi-Fi was going to go out. Well, we couldn't hear you earlier. We kept I, texting. We were like, turn on your audio, Jay. Jay. Uh, Group text you. We're like, hey, hello. Hello. I, I didn't want to call you in the middle of your, your thing. but it was Yeah. Funny. I was, uh, we didn't, you know, I, I talked to two. He was one of my instructors on the stuff. So he's just very motivational. I mean, like, and, and so I was watching and then I looked at the clock and it said 6.59. I said, oh, good. I can take a break. Go to the restroom real quick and call the girls back. So when I went in here, I was like, hey, girls, I, I can't text you. So, uh, and then I saw you all waving and I was like, I can't hear you. And I was like, oh, Lord, <laughs> that's, been, that's been happening quite a few times to me. I, I, I get someone going out of the way like Emilio and I, I try five times. And like I was telling Catherine, I, I try and I just like a little baby, hum phone, turn off my phone. I'm going to bed, which I did because I was stressed <laughs> out. Feeling like I'm letting people down, you know, it's such a, such a temper tantrum, but, but I'm back. So, we, we've all done that. And I know yeah. I was listening to you, to you and Kat talk. We were like, like she said, because of the coronavirus, we can't sit next to each other. We thought about, well, maybe we should film and you're sitting six feet away from me and you can come through my back door. Anyways, we were doing Zoom today and it was exactly like that. I couldn't hear her. She was trying to she was up in the camera like this. And I was like, okay, you're real close. I can't see you. <laughs> back, back it up. Back it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were having some technical difficulty. Everybody's on the Wi-Fi. Everybody's streaming. So I'm up here. I made, a little, I made a little office. You, you're actually, I'll show. I don't care. You're on a little medicine ball. You see? Oh. You're on a little medicine ball, and I got a light there. So I'm I balancing got... well. And so, you know, I'm, I'm back into the gym. I put this chair, put some pillows. So then here we are. I was going to change for you guys too, but I couldn't because I didn't have time to change. But so I want to, I want to, there's so much to talk about with you. I'm so happy every time I get to, to work with you guys. I don't, I don't really have, we have memories and stories, but we really don't have like Power Ranger questions. We just have, remember when this happened and remember this episode. And I get hit a lot of questions all the time, but I'm really happy that you guys are doing the Power Ranger playback. Thank you. I, I really am. I was thinking, how cool would that be years ago if someone can, a perspective, and I was so busy, sit in the couch and watch something and have a different outlook on it. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and uh, there's no better people to do it than you yourself. And I'm, I'm not lying when I say this. I think you're an awesome producer, a filmmaker, and an actress, Thank which you. I really do. I was watching the um, – every movie I watch, I put my friends in there, I think – man, you'd be so good for that. Uh, you know, when I watch movies and I was watching the, um, what is the, what is the, I asked you again. Unsolved. Unsolved, Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> I'm a big Tupac and Biggie fan, so I'm watching it and I'm thinking, oh my God, the kid would be so good for that part. And, I'll sit, and then I'll watching it and then it was you and everyone here's like, oh my God, Nikia, I should Jenna. And it, it's, it's, it's so funny that one clip, it's one clip, because we watch, watch a lot of Power Rangers, you know, Tam Jenna said, wow. She is a great actress, and I knew that before, but I looked at you different because we work together. You know what I mean? So right. when I see your commercials or your other stuff, and I happen to be a big fan of the show, so to see you there, and I, I saw you post some other stuff, but it was very awesome and surprising to see you because I didn't want to, like, 
prepare myself for it. So I was just thinking, that should be, I was like, what? So I took a picture. I got really <laughs> excited about it. Um, you know, and your com commercials and everything and your, your class dismissed. I don't know where that's at, what it goes, but I watch it and you produced it very well. You Thank were very you. funny in it. And for sure, you'd be the one I would say, hey, the leader in producing and making, you would be that person. If I was doing a Power Ranger episode, I would definitely put you on that department and an actress too. But you can organize and do all that stuff. Is that something that you learned or is it something you just grew up with? That is so funny that you asked, Jay, because I didn't know that I had a knack for it or love for it until I started doing it. I, you know, I, I was getting cast a lot in, um, in roles that I love to do, but I felt like I've always, I grew up on the Carol Burnett show. Did you ever watch the Carol Burnett yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would create skits with my brother. I would force him to play characters. We would, we would perform in front of my parents and just, you know, try to make people laugh. Yeah. my parents and, and cousins and aunts and uncles and everything. So I've always wanted to do comedy and always wanted to, to create. And so when I came up with Class Dismissed, it was basically based off of some of my own life experiences because for, for a time, I was actually a substitute teacher oh, okay. in, in, the, in the hood um, <laughs> for like 15 years. And so I have so many stories, like things that I used to write down and was just cracking up at the experiences that I had with these kids. And I was like, I need to write about this. I need to create yeah. a character. I need to write about it. But yeah, I'm still, I, I started writing a movie. Actually, I actually had talked to you a little bit yeah. about it. Um, and, I, and I'm still on that path of, of doing that. But it wasn't until I started producing and writing um, Class Dismissed that I learned that I love producing. I so, so love good. producing. So yeah. good. Everything was just so great. That, 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 that I could see that like on, you know, Netflix or a Disney. I, I was so uh, I was so intrigued by it because the it, it just looked, I mean, so professional. Which I, I know I'm not saying it's not easy to have that kind of look, especially if you're doing independent. It looked professional. It was organized. I saw you outside of the Power Ranger brand and everything from the name to everything that you did was like, I was really impressed. And I even told you that I'm not just saying that. I was really impressed. Going wow. So I think you definitely have a knack for that. Thank you, know, you. You, you definitely do. And I, I love everything. I was until Catherine, not certain things, but the look of your show with the helmets, with the way you guys interact, with the way people laugh. I'm telling you, I think the Power Ranger playback is a brilliant, honest, funny, entertaining your brain type of show. And I'm so proud of you guys that you did it before the Corona stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, just with my mom, when, you know, I was struggling with my mom. We, you know, we, we had issues here and there. So we struggled back and forth. So I ended up taking my mom to Hawaii. I said, okay, mom, like, I want you to go to Hawaii, but I want to do like a free Comic-Con over there so my mom could experience my fans because she never did before. Because growing up, she just never really experienced that because 20 years later, they're stronger than they were then. So I took my mom to Hawaii. She loved, loved me, loved it saw the fans we did a little comic con at a, at a little um you know and, and right in the middle of town at honolulu tons of people showed up it was just i'd sign stuff my mom just entertaining my mom and i'm so glad i took her to hawaii before she had cancer mm -hmm. just because i didn't want it to be like oh mom i'm taking you to hawaii because i'm feeling sorry for you i didn't want that feeling no matter what i just didn't want that feeling of it and i, I think of myself i'm so happy and I'm not saying that people aren't creating content now because of this, not to a financial, uh, you, you know, something that they want to financially invest in, but something on YouTube, like my series, that Bloodshot series, finally came out on Valiant today on YouTube for free. So it's an easy... And it's great. Yeah. yeah so, but yeah. I, they took it. They killed it everywhere and, and just didn't put it back in again. So what I'm saying is you guys are going to YouTube, your support, you're giving free stuff out every post before this and i say that because it shows the depth of how you are interacting with your fans you know and i'm not saying what type of person you are i'm not saying i see a lot of people on social media now that really didn't like it but they have no choice to go on here because they're trying to keep things alive mm -hmm. brands and other stuff and i really like the fact you guys did this before what where is class dismissed like what what is well, what I decided to do was um, I've been trying to pitch it to networks. And obviously, since the coronavirus has 
has come to floor. Everything is shut down. Like the auditions, I had one audition and, and you, but, but there's no filming. So it doesn't even matter. You can audition, but there won't be any filming because there can't be production. You can't get your makeup done because you'll be more than six feet away. So everything is shut down right now. And I just feel like it's a time for everybody to just kind of regroup. I feel like it's a, a reset button that has been pushed and yep. it's time to really reevaluate things in our lives. Yep. Um, I remember in the group text when we were all talking and I told you guys, I told you Kat, um, Aaron and, and Jason, like, I feel like this is, these are times to be experimental, to find things that didn't work before that you can, you know, try out now, dye your hair, shave off yeah. your mustache, yeah. pluck yeah. your eyebrows off, go ball, you know, whatever you want to I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my eyelashes off. I'm going to cut my eyes off. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> they might not grow back. I'll, don't, okay, don't, I'll do don't do that. Don't do that. We don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> you could dye your hair, but then if you wanted to. But I'm just, just saying that, you know, this is a time where I, I haven't seen so much, um, so many neighborhoods coming together because you don't have an option. You know, in order to yeah. speak, I mean, it's, it's, you know, six feet away, but there's so many neighborhoods coming together now. People are just just joining together to love one another in this crazy time that we haven't yeah. seen in a long time. And if nothing yeah. else, I feel like that that is the blessing in all of this. There's so many so much pain and so much suffering and so much stuff going on, but we have to try to find those little glimmer of hope within all of this yeah. because there is a glimmer of hope. There there is something there that is um that's uniting the nation, and and I really really appreciate that. Yeah. It's great. You guys definitely motivate me. Like I was telling Kat for my the poems and just all before this stuff. And I, I do kind of go back and, you know, and lean on certain people. And you guys, girls, always I'm going back to lean because I feel like you know me. We've worked together. We've done so much stuff. But I get a chance to kind of like learn and grow and actually get a chance, you know, to see, you know, us as men and women. And it's one of those things where, you know, you always, uh, you know, blessed me, you and Catherine, and all the times, hey, don't worry, God's got your back, faith, even though, you know, I'm tough, and, you know, I, whatever, whatever, you might think I walk away like this, but in my head, I'm really grasping that, and thinking, and saying, man, you know, the girl's this, that's why you're such a big influence on my life, when you guys say something, it's like, it reassure you, is it good, yeah, I love it, pinky brown boy, boom, then, <laughs> then it's, you know, she calls me Pinky Brown Boy. That's, my, that's a new new Pinky Brown Boy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I did the logo, the, the, the boy, the Pinky Brown Boy logo. Oh, anyway, that's my nickname. That, that's another story. That's another Instagram. But uh, when you say that, I love it, Pinky Brown Boy. I, I just get like, okay, this is great. You and Catherine are, are, you know, women of God. You guys always motivate me. That's why I... I it's okay. We're going to get through it. So when I motivate, we, we do each do that to each other. I'm leaning and asking you like, Hey, we're going to have faith. And then you guys come back. Yeah, we are. So, oh, thank God. Hey, we're probably going to get 10 times the blessing back. Yeah, we are. So it's, it's good to hear that. You know what I mean? And uh, it's definitely motivating. Now your power Rangers playback. Yes, sir. So you have a new episode every, every Wednesday. Wednesday and what, episodes are you covering like say not episodes but where where would you like to go in the next eight weeks well i will tell you pinky i can call you pinky now because everybody knows i, know that I call you pinky yeah, i wasn't gonna do it on here and then yeah that's fine. But you already pinky answered brown so. boy. i like so you. pinky um we are covering some mighty morphin episodes we're covering some zeo episodes and we're covering some time force episodes oh Hmm. And we're going to have some guests, some special guests on our show. We're very, very excited about it. And we are going to have you. And I we are going to do another song and dance. Oh even if you don't God. want to. We don't, uh, really, do, uh, you don't okay, know I'll how be, many uh, requests. You, I'll reenact something. Thank you. Okay. But my biggest just people you gotta, that are watching. you got to get that, that uh, ponytail again and make it, yeah. you know, when you we're playing the piano and your hair. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, I, I, I saw the guys on the news saying, "Don't cut your hair. Let's all grow a ponytail out." But yeah, that looks like <laughs> I, mean, I could kind of do it. With, it kind of looks like I have a toupee. <laughs> Elvis, Elvis. No, I'm gonna tell people. Look, I'm gonna tell people I have a toupee and see if people believe it. It's, anyway, 
I don't dye my hair, but it, it's just kind of cool. But I can <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I to do something. That really was a, a frightening episode for me to do. If you guys seen the the, I had to, we had to do opera every line, and oh, we can't go away. And I told you before. You did it. I'll do. I'll do it on your show. I'll do it. I feel comfortable. We did it together, so I feel comfortable with you. I don't really. I would be stressed out for the viewers, but I'll I'll stay in in character mode for you. But um. Did you hear that, guys? He said it. I will. So I will. We, we have, he has to stick to it. You got me through it the first place. So if you were doing it, then I didn't feel silly. I mean, you were good at it. That was the problem. You know, you were good at all the stuff you do. And my Oma, who's ninety three, um. She, she passed away not too long ago, but she, she lived a good life. But she and my Opa are opera singers, like professional oh, opera singers. So wow. I was like, um, you know, I didn't want well, my Oma would never watch the show because she was older <laughs> and, you know, she just wouldn't watch it. So it was one of those things where the episode was done. Then I'd be like, what's up? <laughs> I wait for him to hear. And then I'm thinking, oh, they didn't see it. Okay, thank God, because I thought my Oma <laughs> was going to talk to me. And so she didn't. So it just flew by on the cover. So now. It's okay. I, I can do it. You did so, great. You did it. great. And then when you started, we couldn't turn you off. Even when I know. Were off. I know. We had a great time. We, we had did. a great we time. Have a good time. We had a lot of fun. We pushed through it. Now here we are. Now you're, you're, I want to know about your son. He's training. He's doing. He's continuing. Last time we talked, I mean, he's he's doing it. What 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 is he up to right now? No, I'm sorry to say. No, I'm not sorry. I'm very happy to say that it's an answered prayer. He is no longer doing MMA fighting. Well, I, I know that you encouraged and you and Johnny were giving giving some tips and everything because I wanted to. I want him to do whatever he wanted to yeah. do. Um, yeah. But I really, as a mom, when he had his first fight, I didn't know how I was going to react. If I was going to jump in the cage and fight yeah. with him, because <laughs> yep. I was woo. So. <laughs> He, you know, after many, many prayers, um, he just decided that that wasn't the route that he wanted to take. So I'm good. I mean, I'm very happy about that. Yes, you didn't influence like Jenna. You know, she wants to to sing, rap, do whatever she wants to do. I encourage her. It's very, for, I I fought in the cage, but it's very frightening teaching outside the cage. So when Tammy yeah. went to Bangkok, she fought in Thailand, and I had to work the outer cage. So I'm thinking. Should I go in and smoke this girl? She's fighting. What if something happens? You know, I'm thinking the same thing you, but the really good thing is that God's really in charge. That's his blueprint. He'll always remember the blueprint. You never know. Might go back and forth, but you didn't have the influence on that. And he didn't do what I did to my mom. When I, a lot of people don't know this, but I played football and I wasn't that good at football. I bought a nice pair of receiver gloves. I was a receiver. I got all my football equipment in high school at that point because I was all right, all right grades in the first month of being a freshman. <laughs> Went to high school. I, my coach was like, hey, man, you need to be here more. I don't think this football thing is going to work out for you. And I, so I was literally almost like kicked off the team. So I went home. I told my mom, said, man. She had all this football. You're doing football? I'm so worried about you doing football. I said, yeah, Mom, you know, please stop playing football. So I was like, you know, getting motherly love. Yeah, you know, it's tough, but, you know, people do get hurt. So I'll pay you to stop playing football. I was like, Mom, ain't nothing you can pay me, but I'm going to stop football because I love football. But I got a couple hundred, and I said, Mom, for you, I will quit football for a couple hundred. It was so bad. I look at it now, and I'm, oh, my God. Got, but hey, you know, uh, I did the same thing to Saban and a couple things when I was doing personal appearances. It was like, well, you know, Heim is what I love to do, and then then he hustled and finagled that way out of it. So I, I feel bad about it, but anyway, I'm just telling. You. <laughs> well, you've that. done you've done great for yourself, Pinky. You've done really great hey. for yourself. We, you know, Kat and I also all, always talk about what an extraordinary businessman you are. Um, I, I think it's it's great. You're very you've diversified your life not just right. with power rangers you have karate studios you have other businesses and that's what's needed i mean yeah. that's what's needed in this world in for ourselves as well i appreciate it i learned a lot from you guys man uh, i learned a lot from you i learned different you know going through things and you know when you're on when you're on a show as you know you get different cast members you you have this and that but you've always been there focused ready to go which i probably wasn't 
which if you were ready to go, I probably caused a little, uh, uh, you know, because I, I just had <laughs> yes, to be a little brat that way. I, I admit it. Okay, I might have been a brat that way. But it brought love. You guys were, you know, you guys at the, were all we saw. We're family, man. Even though, yes. you know, we didn't go out and eat, we're family. And brothers and sisters don't always get along. And sometimes brothers and sisters fight. But on the end of the day, here we are so many years later on something that we thought would never be like we have communicators, all this high tech stuff that we have. And here we are on something that's just so easy that kids look at it and go, God, those things you had on the show were so dumb because look what we have nowadays. I so know. it's a divine appointment. I think yeah. it's an appointment that we had. You know? I am so proud of you. Look at you. Look at you. Thank you. I appreciate it, which is so crazy. God, which, it's you know, the, the think about that. Like whoever would have thought at this time, you know, we got all this stuff going on. And that's why what, like Kat was saying, is it just, it's pushing us to have faith and pushing us to try to change people. But most, most importantly, which I was doing with the help of you guys, is looking in the mirror and just going, okay, what does this guy need to change? Not it's that guy's fault or this guy's fault or it's her fault. Like own up and look in the mirror and say, hey, what do I need to work on? And, and right now, and I was going to tell you, and I think people will be leaning back on it on their addictions and stuff that they're doing. And I'm trying to encourage people that now's the time to stop your addiction, to face yourself sober. I think facing, facing yourself sober is super hard. And I'm not talking about, I mean, I, I don't drink. I, you know me, I'm kind of boring out there. I'm doing social media. But at one point I did. At one point it was fun. I was a kid. I did what I, what I did, but we were always professional. We always showed up and we maintained our life. So there was no alcoholism. You know, like in my family there was, but not, it never interrupted my life. But I decided I just want to stop 10 years ago because I was drinking beer and eating cheesecake. And the only reason I eat the cheesecake is because I drank a beer and thought, ah, oh, it's cool. So extra calories were added. So I just stopped it for the calories. But now's the time where I think people should not lean on addictions. M mentally, mental health, all that. What, what would you tell someone, all of us, how... I'm looking at you and saying, and give me tips how I can get through this terrible, depressing day that I'm just having a miserable time and I think there is no tomorrow. What would you tell that person that is watching that probably thinks there is no tomorrow and today sucks except this live? And after this, they're going to go back into their shell again. How, what would you tell them? The first thing I would say is you have to admit that you have a problem. Because if you never admit that you have an addiction problem, then it's never going to be on the open and you're never going to deal with it because you're been, you've been in denial. I, um, I, I have a, my family, my, you know, cousins, uncles and so forth. I've had addiction in my family and, um, many of my aunts and uncles and so forth and, um, have overcome it. And, you know, there's some family members that have not, but one of the first things you have to do is you have to admit that you have a problem and it's and it goes and i'm, I'm gonna bring some bible into it it's yeah. the same thing that god says when he when you sin you need to confess your sins and ask for forgiveness because if you don't then you're not acknowledging that you have a problem and if yeah. you can't acknowledge that you have a problem you're not going to fix it yeah. so first of all you've got to acknowledge it uh confess it Say, I, you know, this is my problem. And then you've got to tell somebody, tell somebody that you trust that you need help. Yeah. Go to someone. Because like, and I'm going to get biblical again, just yeah. like a wolf, a wolf with some sheep. You know, the sheep travel in herds. They travel in herds together so that they can protect each other. They, they're there for one another. But as soon as one, the, the wolf waits for one to just go off on its own. Where, where nobody's around them, no one's surrounding them. It's, it's, they're, they're alone. And that's when the wolf comes and devours. And that's the same thing with addiction. That's the same thing with in life. When you are standing in this battle by yourself without soldiers around you, even praying for you, or you, all you need is one. Yeah. You don't have to have, because some people say, oh, I don't have a lot of friends. You don't, sometimes people have 15 people around them that are not friends. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. All you need is one true friend, one true friend that's going to be praying for you, one true friend that's going to help you with your addiction, one, true, one friend that's going to call in your time of need. So yeah. first of all, I would say you have to admit that you have a problem. As difficult as it is, admit that you have a problem and then tell someone. Tell someone to help you because that's what we're all here for. Yeah. God made Adam and he made Eve. 
he didn't make Adam by himself and say, okay, go out in the wilderness, go do what you need to do. Yeah. You know, Choices, in a right? fellowship of people. During this time, so many people have come together. There's, you know, we talk about the group texts that we have, that we lift yeah. each other up and we talk about what's going on and, and we encourage people. And then we have Zoom meetings and all of that stuff. That's the same thing with addiction. You have to admit that you have one and, and seek help. Just one person that you trust, that's all. And, and I, I tell you, like, we talk about addictions, workaholic, it could be drinking, it could be drugs, it could be addicted to whatever you're addicted to. And oh, I, I keep saying that. I don't know why, because I, I ask people's opinion, because I do think there's people that watch me and you and question themselves now and go, mm, tomorrow. I say TNT, today, not tomorrow. I think it's important to do that. I think it's important at this time where everything is shut down to go look at it and deal with it. Life is not always fair. And we do have choices, like you said, Adam and Eve. We have choices. And I'm just thinking that maybe someone could watch, including myself with being a workaholic. I'll, I'll call my first one out on it. I probably have an addiction with working. You yeah. know what I mean? And this social Thank media you. is not helping people. But I need this right now. And I need the message that we just said about all this other stuff about God can help you faith. Because when I had the same thing, Catherine and Ronan in, who's this tactical guy who's, you know, fight for our world and kill people, they all said the same thing. So I'm just, you know, for me, I'm one of those things where I just feel that, you know, maybe someone needs it, but maybe I need it. Maybe I'm the one that's like, hey, God, you know, workaholic, spend time with people that you love. Do so. So when I say to people, I mean to, to, to me. And I think, you know, to us, and, I, and, and so their addictions can be anything. Right now, I'm balancing a little bit, but the, the weirdest thing is I'm still on social media the same. I just don't know. I did it in between. Outside the yeah, I, I, my battery's going low, but, you know, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. You were froze okay. for a second like this. I know. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm just thinking how I, I don't know how I balance all that the same with everything else. And that tells me that I need to kind of slow down, balance it a little bit. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I, I'm not the one to point fingers. I mean, I write to be therapeutic, you know, therapeutic. You do your stuff, your talents and what you do. And the biggest thing for me, I, I tell everyone all the time, it's like we're on a show to promote something. It's always sounds so clean and clear. Like now we're going to say go buy a Bible at, you know, your so-and-so.com or, you know, go here, which we are going to tell people. To, I'm going to tell people to watch the Ninjak versus Valve universe. It's free on YouTube. I am going to ask people to go watch Power Ranger Playback because it's free, but also we got to entertain our brain. I think entertain our brain, train our brain. And if you got to drain your brain, then you need to drain it on something that's worth it. Face whatever you're dealing with and get through it because you're my accountability partner wherever you're at. You and Catherine, our little group text, are my accountability partners. I'll text you guys right before something major happens to me. I'll text you and let you know and see it's okay. So now maybe you're stuck at home with your accountability partner. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's going to take two weeks, three weeks to straighten up who you are or just influence other people like you guys are doing. And I think, I think the world right now on social media – just start influencing people. I told Jenna, doesn't matter the likes, who you have, one person. Yeah. And that one person is, is me, that you and Catherine inspire me. So now I might be selfish, but now it's on recording to inspire other people. Yeah. So, and from, from one workaholic to another workaholic, because I